What is up guys? So today I'm just bringing you this quick tutorial to show you guys how you can remove the random scream that happens from time to time while you're exploring the Friday the 13th virtual dev diary cabin. Now I know there are some of you like myself who just don't like the scream. I think it's stupid. It kind of breaks the atmosphere of the game and takes away from the immersion. I kind of like all of the other sounds except for that. I feel like it's just a bit out of place and I know I'm not the only one. So since it's very simple to do, I'm just making this quick walkthrough. So I hope it helps you guys out. So the first thing you're going to do is open your file explorer to the drive that you actually have the game on and navigate to the game's location. In my case, and in most of your cases, that's Program Files x86, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, F13 Game Virtual Cabin. Now when you're in here, you're going to go to F13 Virtual, Content, Virtual Cabins, Sounds, and then you're going to go down to ScreamQ.uAsset. I mean, it's an obvious name. This is what we're looking for. Now you're going to rename the file and just clear that .uAsset at the end of it, including the dot. Now just hit enter and you'll get a message that the file may become unusable, but we do want the file to become unusable. So we're sure we want to change it. Just agree. Now you see here it's a file and not a uAsset file anymore. And now this just does not work the scream can no longer randomly happen in your game. So you're done here. When you want to put it back, if you want to put it back, just rename the file again, put .uasset after it, and you'll see right over here it's a uasset file again and it will function as intended. Now if anything goes wrong, say you lose this file or you lose any file for that matter, you're just going to go back to the main folder of the game and delete this chunk of stuff right here. Um, I'm choosing this mainly because it's all small files and it won't take a while to recover. Now to get it back and to fix anything that could have gone wrong, you just open your Steam library, right click your game, go to properties, local files, verify integrity of game cache, and you're pretty much set. It's just going to find out what's wrong with your game and replace everything that's missing or broken and it will be fixed. It's that simple. So I hope this helps some of you guys out. Thank you for watching.